Good morning. We are joined by sophomore Sophia Giro. Sophia, good morning, and thanks for joining us here today. Hi, thank you. Hey, let's talk about the team first. Hey, back-to-back -back PCAC champions, uh, unblemished in the conference at 12-0. and um, How special was this year for you? Yeah, I mean, this year was really special. It was um, last season at Mesa, so it's sad, but I mean, we were all really looking forward to it, to mm. playing. And, um, and I mean, it was really special, like playing with my best friends. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we all were just looking forward to it and just happy to be here. <laughs> Yeah, it's always it's always uh, a tough time of the year, right? There's there's the excitement of of moving forward, moving to um, your next academic and athletic career, which we'll talk about a little bit later on. But it's also kind of uh, bittersweet because at the same time, you know, you leave a place that has become special to you. Now, were there anything, any special memories that you remember this year that you want to share with us? I think winning conference again is always mm -hmm. special. Um, especially being able to do that both seasons. Yeah. Really cool with like the same group of girls. Mm -hmm. Um, And I think just everyone coming back because we weren't sure if we were going to have the whole team again. And mm -hmm. so hear that everyone was still coming back and like no one was moving on mm -hmm. um, was really cool. So, yeah, definitely. Uh, again, the biggest thing that I can say about that is it's just a bittersweet moment. Uh, once again, we are joined by sophomore Sophia Jaros, a product of Sarah High School. Um, it fell a little bit short, conference pairs last week, uh, falling to Santa Barbara City College, uh, but finished second and qualifying for the regionals, um, playing against Orange Coast College, uh, Duquesne and Atman. How did you feel during conference last week? And uh, how are we looking going into regionals tomorrow? Yeah. Um... During conference was good. We were excited and we knew we had to like push through that to get mm. to regional. Um, cause pairs is there's a lot of days you have to play. It's a lot of playing. Um, yeah. but I think coming off last year, especially for me and Tia, like we know what it requires and what we need to do and that we can do it. So, mm. um, I think we just had like a confident, like calm mindset almost. Um, yeah. and yeah, we felt good during conference, but we're excited for regionals because I think we're going to be playing some tougher teams mm -hmm. as it is. So, um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this weekend. Yeah, had a had a very uh, had a tremendous season, uh, going 22 and three. Um, you know, and uh, from what we've heard, you guys are playing well, and just uh, it's one of those things that, as we had talked about offline, um, once it comes to playoffs or championship season, uh, all records are out the door. Everyone starts at zero zero, and particularly in, in a in a tournament like the regionals, a double elimination tournament, um, in which you guys will have the opportunities to uh, to make some noise. Um, hey, obviously the goal is to reach states and to win state. Um, you know, you touched on it a little bit. Um, kind of thinking back to what happened during conference players last week. What do you think you and and, and Tia needs to do a little better in order to uh, to to make a run um, at regional this year and state? Yeah, um, I think this year, especially um, after coming off, you know, being so close for team and not making mm. it, mm. Um, I think just not having any regrets and just being so, like, confident in our play and giving everything. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, not playing scared and just being, like, so aggressive with everything you do. Mm -hmm. um, important because you know there's nothing else that we have it's just this and um kind of like nothing to lose like just go all out mm -hmm. um so I'm ready to do that and I think using like this loss as kind of like a fuel for what we want to accomplish because we don't want to feel like that again and get like sure close to having it and letting it slip away um so I think we're all like kind of thinking about that when we're going into this weekend sure yeah i mean you know what, what a what a way to to make a statement right and 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 again um you know sometimes uh well i say a lot of times um biggest lessons you learn in sport are those moments when you do lose right and when you do have the ability to fix it change things and uh kind of change strategy at this point um 
What do you think the biggest lesson you've learned this season so far? And and also with that, let me ask you this. Um, what's what's the mindset or, or how different is your mindset going to pairs tomorrow um, when you're preparing for a team match versus in an individual match um, tomorrow? <clears throat> um, well, I think tomorrow it's very, you know, it's based on you and your partner. And mm -hmm. so you know, you don't need to think about everyone else and you can't either rely on other people to win a game for you. Um, mm -hmm. And so just like really focusing on us and like what we have to do and playing for each other and, you know, also showing ourselves that we can do it. Um, and this season, I think I learned a lot, um, especially being our last season here. It's kind of like an end. And I think, I learned that, you know, because we're all moving on and it feels like an end of an era here, but yeah. we're going to go. Um, and, you know, there's, it seems in the moment, like all you have is kind of like volleyball in school, but, you know, the relationships that we made with our teammates and coaches um, that will like last forever. So I think focusing on that and, you know, the positives of the season um, as well as just like, I think, you have to be so mentally strong. I think that's a big thing I learned and everyone learned. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to win and, you know, there's so many things you need to just be confident when you play and calm and um, just really have that. And so like taking that to the next level where everyone's going is I think important. Yeah, absolutely. Well, speaking of the next level, um, do you know what your plans are yet? Is there an announcement you kind of want to make as far as what's next for Miss Sophia? Yeah, um, I recently committed to Cal State Northridge to play in Dorm Beach, so I'm super excited. Well, Sophia, congratulations. Um, you know, I don't want to say what a heck of a year because we're not done yet. Again, um, thank you for your time. Sophia Jarros, sophomore out of Sarah High School, 22-3 uh, and three, uh, so far this year. Let's go add uh, a handful more wins on that win column, and uh, let's go get them tomorrow.